Mommy, I have had enough of Alan Hernberger making abusive videos out of me and Molly, not to mention he wants to break the mobile off of Molly's crib and put a simplex 4903 to 9168 speaker strobe on it so it can play a message telling her to shut up with the F word and calling her the N word. I agree with you Penelope, not to mention, he likes to make me call Molly the N word and he likes making me look like a racist dummy. This is why we are going to court today. We're going to court? What for? Well Penelope, I talked with Daddy about this, and we are going to be getting a restraining order on Alan. A restraining order? What's a restraining order? That means if Alan comes within 30 feet of you, me, Daddy, Molly, or our house, he will get arrested. So you're saying once we get a restraining order against Alan, he might finally leave me and Molly alone? Yes, Penelope, and do not listen to a thing he tells you, because he's wrong, and DCFS will not take you away, and he's lying about Love Me Like You Do by Ellie Golding being 18 and up, even though it's from Fifty Shades of Grey, which is rated R. You can sing the song if you want to, just don't watch the movie, okay? Okay, Mommy. I'm so excited for Alan to finally leave me and Molly alone. I gotta tell Molly the news. I love you, Mr. Clanner Toes. Hi, Molly, my sweet baby sister. Hi, Penelope, my sweet big sis. Wanna say hi to Mr. Clanner Toes? Hi there, Mr. Clanner Toes. My name is Penelope. He says it's nice to meet you. What's up? Well, Molly, I have some exciting news. You know that Alan Hernberger guy that makes abusive videos out of us, right? Yeah, I hate Alan with a burning passion because he is so abusive to me and you, not to mention he wants to make mom break the mobile off my crib and replace it with a fire alarm that will play a message telling me to shut up with the F word and calling me the N word. Well, guess what, Molly? Today, we're going to be going to court, and Mommy and Daddy will be filing a restraining order against him, and then if he comes 30 feet near me, you, Mommy, Daddy, or our house, he will get arrested, and they'll make our security system call the police if he is seen in the driveway or the front yard. Yay! Alan's going to finally leave us alone. I can't wait for him to finally stop hypnotizing mom and dad to be abusive to us, trying to break the mobile on my crib, and making mom call me the n-word when it's racist. Well Molly, you are such a smart baby. You're right, the n-word is extremely racist, and it's strictly banned in Gabe the Slacker's channel, regardless of race, censored or not censored. I love you so much, Molly. You are so sweet, you are so smart, and you are the most adorable baby sister I've ever had. I love you too, big sis. Maybe once the restraining order is in effect, Alan will also stop being mean to our friends since they're all getting restraining orders against him too, and hopefully he'll stop encouraging Chris to be mean to us, because I also love Chris, and I want to kiss him so bad, but he never lets me. And don't worry Molly, your mobile on your crib will never be broken off and it will never be replaced with a fire alarm of any kind, because 1. There's already a fire alarm installed on the wall, and 2. It'll hurt your ears just like it hurts my ears. Yeah, big sis, and I love the songs I hear on the mobile, because they help me sleep. Penelope and Molly, it's time to go to court. Coming mommy. Chris, do you know what's going on? I don't know what the hell is going on, Alan. So, Mr. and Mrs. Percy, how may I help you today? We are here to get a restraining order on Alan Hernberger, because he's always hurting our daughters Penelope and Molly. Not to mention, he wants to replace the mobile on Molly's crib with a simplex fire alarm so that she can't sleep. He thinks Penelope is allergic to Haribo gummy bears and Frosted Flakes. When she is not, she's allergic to peanuts. Well... 
Penelope is allergic to Haribo gummy bears and frosted flakes, and she cannot have them. Alan, be quiet. Nobody asked you if I'm allergic to Haribo gummy bears and frosted flakes. Because I am not allergic to them, I'm allergic to peanuts. As I was saying before Alan interrupted me, he also makes me call Molly the N-word, making me look like a racist dummy, and not just that, he thinks Penelope plays GTA when she does not. Yes, she does. Penelope plays Grand Theft Auto, and she likes it. Alan, you need to stop interrupting Julie, and Penelope does not play GTA, Chris is the one in our house who plays GTA, and you need to realize that Penelope knows the rules about the game ratings, and she does not play any games that are rated M for mature. I promise you will get a chance to speak. As I was saying, Alan also made a video of me beating up Penelope, when he needs to know that I would never do that to any of my three kids. Another thing, he pushed Penelope to the ground all because she sang a song by Ellie Golding called Love Me Like You Do. Because that song is from Fifty Shades of Grey, and that movie is rated R, and that song is for ages 18 and up. Alan, you know even though I don't like rated R movies, I like Ellie Golding's song Love Me Like You Do, because it's a great song, and I sometimes sing it in class when my teacher plays it. If you had been nice to me and Molly, this wouldn't have happened. Now, if Alan will stop interrupting me, he also calls Penelope the N-word, not to mention he and his British friend Ashley Hayden threw a brick at Molly while she was flying with her friend Kelly Voigt, and I had to come pick up Molly because they hurt my baby. So this is why we are filing a restraining order against him, and we don't ever want him coming within 30 feet of any part of our family, including Chris, Penelope, and Molly's grandparents, and our house. He can drive or walk past our house, but he cannot come on our property. Okay, Julie, thank you for telling me all of this. Alan, what do you have to say for yourself for all that stuff you did to Penelope and Molly? Well, Penelope is a little inward, and she needs to get taken by DCFS and get locked up in the Glenview Hotel in Ireland, and Molly is too old to have a mobile, and a fire alarm will help her sleep. Alan, a fire alarm will not help me sleep, because it will hurt my ears, and loud noises scare me, and if a fire alarm goes off, it makes me think that there is an emergency and makes me evacuate. Shut your damn mouth, Molly! You are getting a fire alarm on your crib whether you want it or not. And seeing as it is not removable, I will break the mobile off your crib and replace it with a simplex 4903 to 9168 speaker strobe. Alan, why would you say that to Molly? Now look, you made her cry. Yeah, Alan, you do not ever say stuff like that to a baby. You just hurt Molly's feelings by saying that. And another thing. Molly cannot sleep with a fire alarm going off, and it always wakes her up when it goes off, whether that be at night or during her nap time, which is why I never do fire drills at night and why I never do them when Molly is asleep. Alright y'all, please settle down, this doesn't have to be too chaotic. Sorry about that your honor, Alan just yelled at Molly and made her cry. It's okay, I just need one of you to sign the restraining order paper. Sure thing your honor. Jason, could you comfort Molly while I sign the restraining order? Sure thing, Julie. I'll try and calm Molly down. It's okay, Molly. Alan is not going to hurt you ever again, because he'll be on a restraining order, and if he ever comes near us or our house, he'll go to jail. Oh, Dad, please, keep Alan away from me. Don't worry, Molly. Once we get this restraining order granted, he'll stay away from you. All right, your honor. I'm finished signing the restraining order. All right, Julie. Thank you for coming in and filing a restraining order on this abusive man. Okay, Alan. The restraining order has been signed. So you now have to move 30 feet away from the Percy family if you don't want to go to jail. How did you one day Penelope and Molly? Good riddance, Alan. You are never coming near me ever again. We did it, Molly. 
We stopped Alan Hernberger from coming near us once and for all, so he'll never hurt us again. We did it. Lo hicimos. Si hermana mayor. Now Alan won't be hurting us or making mommy abuse us ever again, because we now have a restraining order on him, and if he steps onto our property, our security system will call the police and sound an alarm that can only be heard outside the house and in certain rooms of the house so we don't get woken up, and he will get arrested. Hey big sis, let's fly over to the park and tell our friends the news. Great idea, Molly. I'm sure they will be so happy to hear that we got a restraining order against Alan. But first I have to get my iPhone so that way I can get a hold of Mommy if something happens. Hi, girls. Hi, Penelope and Molly. How are you both doing? We're doing great. And guess what? We got a restraining order against Alan Hernberger, so he'll never hurt us again. Yay! You stopped Alan Hernberger from coming near you and your house. We all got restraining orders on him too. This is definitely going to teach Alan a lesson for being so abusive to us. Yeah, this will for sure teach Alan to never abuse children like us again. Yeah, I'm so happy we got a restraining order against Alan because he scares me because of how abusive he is to us. We're so happy for you both. We should go tell Miley and Macy. Great idea, Penelope. They will be so happy to hear that we got a restraining order against Alan. Pixie dust, away. It's so great to see you again, Melly and Macy. It's great to see you again, too, Lula. Yeah, Lula, we haven't seen you in a while. Hi, Miley and Macy. Oh, hi, Penelope, Molly, Everly, Sarah, Allison, and Mary. It's so good to see you again. Do you want to say hi to our friend here? Oh, hi there, little girls. What are your names? Hi there, my name is Penelope. I'm Everly. My name is Sarah. It's a pleasure to meet you. Hello there, little creature. My name's Allison. And I'm Mary. What is your name? My name is Lula. It's such a pleasure to meet you all. And what about you, little baby girl? What is your name? My name is Molly. I'm so happy to meet you. I gotta say, you're so cute, Molly. Well, Lula, that was very nice of you to say that. I agree with you. Molly is adorable, and she just had her first birthday on Saturday. Oh, wow. Happy belated birthday, Molly. Thanks, Lula. Did I hear that someone had a birthday on Saturday? Yeah, Molly. Saturday was Molly's first birthday. Wow. Happy belated birthday, Molly. Thanks, Miley. What the? Molly, where are your shoes? What do you mean? Molly, did you forget to put on your shoes before we left the house? Whoopsie. I forgot to put on my shoes before we left. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, Molly. I'm not mad at you. It happens sometimes. I love running around in my socks in times like this, and sometimes I even like to run around barefoot. Yeah, Miley and I do that sometimes too. Now, Lula, I need to tell you, beware of this child abuser named Alan Hernberger. Alan Hernberger? Who's that? Well, Lula, 
Alan Hanberger is a YouTuber who hates Illinois ASMR girls. He hates this YouTuber Twister Kid 2021 stepsister Karen Hayden and treats her like she's worse than lockdowns. And the worst part is that he is very abusive to me, Molly, and my friends. And he makes child abuse videos out of me and Molly. And he wants to replace the mobile on Molly's crib with a Simplex 4903 to 9168 speaker strobe fire alarm. And he makes my mommy call Molly the N-word, which is very racist. What? Alan does all of that to you? Yeah, he does. And he's been doing it for months. And because of him being abusive to us, Molly is scared of him. And that's why we just filed a restraining order on him so he can't go near us. Uh-oh, that is terrible that he makes abusive videos out of you guys. But it's a good thing you got a restraining order against him. Yeah, I'm just warning you, beware of him, because he's very abusive. Okay, Penelope, I will be careful about Alan. But I was thinking, why don't we go over to the mall and get something for Molly, since she just had her first birthday on Saturday? That's a great idea, Lula. I would love to go to the mall and get something for Molly, especially after my older brother Chris ruined her birthday last Saturday. Yeah. Let's all go to the mall and buy some late birthday gifts for Molly. Excuse me, girls. Keep him away from me. Uh-oh, it's Alan. I bet he's up to no good. What do you want from us, Alan? Where do you think you all are going? We were just about to go to the mall and get some late birthday gifts for Molly, and... Hey! You are not supposed to be anywhere near us, because you have a restraining order, so I suggest you get away from us or else we're calling the police. I don't care about my stupid-ass restraining order. You all are not going to the mall, because I am extremely mad at you for filing restraining orders on me. You all are N-words. Alvin, the reason why we've filed restraining orders against you is because not only are you abusive to Penelope, Molly, and their friends, but you are making this username TwisterKid2021 date ever leave Sister Brenda, which proves you are making him look like a pedophile even though we know he isn't one, not just that. But you are also making him allergic to propel water, and you're making Penelope allergic to Haribo gummy bears, which is unnecessary, because she is not allergic to Haribo gummy bears. She's allergic to peanuts, and Twister Kid 2021 is not allergic to propel water. And you also made a disgusting video of her mother making her pee on the floor all because she kissed Molly, and you make her yell at Molly and call her the N-word, which proves that you are making her racist. Now if you don't go away, we are calling the police. Do you think I give a f about the stupid restraining order? No. Now you listen here. If you don't retract your restraining orders on me, I will call DCFS and you will get locked up in the Glenview Hotel in Ireland. Alan, you do not ever swear in front of little kids like us. And you especially do not say them in front of Molly, because she is a one-year-old baby, and she is too young to learn those. I don't give a crap about that. You need to retract those restraining orders, or I'll call DCFS, and you will get locked up in the Glenview Hotel in Ireland, you little N-words. Now you listen here, Alan. You need to stop calling us the N-word, because that is extremely racist of you to say that. Well, even though I can't say that word in this channel because of the stupid-ass guidelines, black people can use the N-word if they want to. Anyways, just because I'm on a restraining order does not mean that Molly's mobile will not be replaced with a simplex speaker strobe fire alarm, because she is too old to have a mobile on her crib. Now you just listen here, Alvin. You are not going to make Penelope and Molly's mother destroy the mobile on her crib and replace it with a fire alarm. Because a fire alarm will hurt Molly's ears, and it will not help her sleep. 
Yeah, Alan, you've seen Gabe's videos of Penelope's older brother Chris pulling the fire alarm in their house, only it was the EST Genesis and EST Integrity horn strobes, as well as the Rowlan fire alarm sound, and it hurts Penelope and Molly's ears, and when he did that during Everly's sleepover at their house, alongside her sister Brenda, it woke Molly up. Now if you don't go away, we're calling the police because you are violating your restraining order. I don't care about Molly's ears. She deserves to have her ears blasted because she is a little n-word. Alan, stop it right now. You're scaring Molly, which is why she's hiding behind Penelope. Now go away and let us go to the mall. Yeah, Alan, and another thing, DCFS is a protection service and they do not take people to the Glenview Hotel in Ireland and lock them up in there. Another thing, you claim that Gabe the Slacker is stealing me and Miley from the Real Random Lozzie's YouTube channel. Like come on, the Real Random Lozzie does not have a problem with people using her characters, even though I was created by Austin the Superior Vyond 2021, and you are claiming that Baby's Arus is not real, when in fact, it is. Actually Macy, you are wrong. Gabe is stealing you and Miley, and Babies Are Us, or should I say, Baby N Words Are Us is not a real store. Alan, Babies Are Us is a real store, and it's owned by Toys R Us. Molly's crib was bought at Babies Are Us before they went out of business, because it was my crib when I was a baby. Now if you don't leave us alone, we're calling the police to arrest you. Ouch! Ouch! Ouch, 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 ouch. Alvin, you just hit me to the ground and hurt my leg. Yeah, cry like a little baby. That is what you get for not retracting your restraining orders. All right, that's it. You've pushed Lula to the ground and hurt her leg. We're calling the police, and you are getting charged with not just violating a restraining order, but also for hurting a little sprite fairy. Miley. Call the police on this abusive man. Aunt Macy. Nine one one. What is your emergency? I need police at the park right now. This man named Alan Hernberger is violating a restraining order, and he hurt one of our friends. Oh my God! Thank you for letting me know about this. Could you please state your name? My name is Miley Stein. Okay. Thanks for your report. We'll get a police car over to the park as soon as possible. Are you okay, Lula? Ouch! My leg hurts. I think it's bruised up. It'll be okay, Lula. I don't think your leg is broken. I think he just bruised it up a little, but it will be okay. And the police is on their way. And Alan will go to jail for violating a restraining order and for child abuse. Thank you, Macy. That makes me feel better. Alan Hernberger. You are under arrest for violating a restraining order and for hurting a young little sprite fairy. Let's go to my police car right now. I'll get you all one day. I swear, Alan just never learns to stop being abusive to us. Is Alan gone? Yes, Molly. Alan is gone now, so it's safe because he is going to jail. Phew. At least he didn't hit me. Anyways, let's all go to the mall. But wait, how are we all going to get there? I'm the only one here who can fly, since I'm a sprite. No, not a soda sprite. I'm a creature, and it's quite a long distance to walk from here. Actually, Lula, we can fly. Really? How? With pixie dust. Watch and learn. See, Lula? Wow, with pixie dust, you really can fly. Yeah, we sure can. All right, let's fly over to the mall and buy some late birthday gifts for Molly. Vamos al centro comercial. Whoa, Penelope, you can speak Spanish? That's right, Lula. I can speak Spanish because I take Spanish class at school and I watch Dora the Explorer. Wow, I'm impressed. I've only ever heard people in the United States speak English. But anyways, let's fly over to the mall. Next stop, the mall. <laughs>